This is uh, Coach Vic, Victor Bell from Champion Development Academy, Warhorse Strength Camp, creator of Unstoppable Champion Training Camp. Uh, we actually help special forces guys, professional athletes, executives, real estate investors maximize their potential so they start making more money, have more power in the shit that they do, uh, build themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I wanted to shoot a quick video because this is something that I just uh, kind of brought to attention. My homeboy, uh, Ryan, calls them trolls, man, and for whatever reason, I've been lately kind of noticing there's much more spectators. You know, as we begin to kind of put the word out about Champion Development Academy, um, some of the things that we're doing out there for the uh, for our athletes, um, business people, executives, things like that. We got a lot of sideline idiots. Um, and I'm just going to call it what it is because that's what this video is about. You know, I, I'm kind of deeming this video uh, the spectator's um, path to enlightenment. And I'm saying this, I got a quick video because I'm going to jump out and meet my kids. But the spectator's path to enlightenment. A lot of them, a lot of spectators, guys who aren't even in the game, claim to be a game player. They wear all the stuff. They wear all the colors. They wear all the tap out shirts. They wear all the fight shirts. They wear all the football fan shit. But you can get them to pick up a ball and throw it. The more champion, the more gangster they're ever going to be is throwing a kid sized football to their kids flag football league and then calling themselves this and that and throw the ball halfway across the court and come on boy go get this and why'd you miss that is because your your arm sucks that's why you're not in the nfl that's why you're not the top of your game that's not that's why you're not doing the things that you need to do a lot of times you know when i say spectators enlightenment it's like they get enlightened by other people but they're spectators so they can only go as far as they are so it's cool to kind of sit on the sideline and judge others that are actually in the game where there's business where it's um, fights, whether it's wrestling, whether it's football, you know, so it's like, that's their enlightenment, that's how they become the, the, the go-to guys, that's how they, they're the loudest person at the, at the barbecues talking about how this guy did this, and that guy did that, and oh, he just got married, and the reason why he's not doing as good is because he did this on Friday, like they were there, or some shit like that, it's like, they're always so ready to share their enlightenment to other spectators who ain't even playing the game, somebody says, like, oh, it's this, or we watch this video and that's how you do this. But man, be honest with you, there's about half the gangsters out there, man. They're not really doing what they say they're doing. They're not really pumping it up. Um, they're not really reaching out. They don't even have a team put together, much less be on a team or be a, a member of that team to be able to make any substantial leaps and bounds, gain any ground, to have their hand raised in some circle at all. Much less even to be able to lose. They're not even playing. They're just judging from the outside, claiming total enlightenment, acting like anything that they do even freaking matters. So you figure a lot of times we're going to get that. You're going to get that. As you start climbing up to the top, you're going to have some enlightened spectator tell you that, hey, bro, maybe you should tone it down or, hey, guys, maybe you shouldn't do this or what if you fail? You know what? Don't listen to that. I'd rather fail on my own because I took the chance to do something than have some spectator, some dickhead who's not even really in the game tell me how I might fail, how I might lose, how I might not make it just in case. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to be around people, man, be around people who are already playing the game. Be around people who have already gone the gambit. Be around people who you can pick up the phone and go, yo, how you getting this done? Because I'm hustling. I'm getting these things done. I'm getting these things in line. I'm having more of this. Uh, my fight's coming up. My wrestling tournament's coming up. I need help on the mat. I need help in the boardroom. Those are the people you want to surround yourself with. You know, you can't be a spectator and be enlightened to know all these things, but you ain't never did shit. Those are the people you want to keep around you. If I can give you one message today, stay away from the enlightened spectator, the guy who knows everything but knows nothing, all right? Coach Vic, Victor Bell, Champion Development Academy, War Strength Camp, creator of Unstoppable Training Camp, where I help special forces, forces guys, other athletes, all these different people get to where they want to go by maximizing potential because it's in you already because you're in the game. Boom. Peace. Hit me up.